My name is Courtney Frost, and I am a senior at Northern Gilbert High School. I will be attending East Carolina in the fall. I have been coming to First Baptist all my life, and it's safe to say that I can call it my second home, rather if I'm in this building or halfway around the world. Starting in the nursery, all the way through elementary school and now middle and high school, there have been so many people in this church that have helped me become the person you see standing here today. If I even tried to name everyone, we would be here all day, and I know we don't want that to happen. I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior in third grade, but I know that that was just the beginning of my walk with Christ. As many of the seniors have told you, being involved in missions is near and dear to our hearts. Whether we are making Play-Doh pizzas with the children in Vacation Bible School, painting a house, or sharing God's Word through song, we absolutely love it. We may not admit it at the time when we're covered in sweat or fiberglass, but we would gladly do it all over again. I was first exposed to mission work when I was in elementary school. Every summer, our church would participate in a building trip. We would gather with many other churches to build a building for a church or organization. The first few years that my family participated, my sister Leah and I, along with other children from various churches, we're much too young and to be around power tools and pieces of wood that were twice our size. Every year, Ms. Watkins would organize a vacation Bible school for the mornings for his kids to participate in so our parents could work on a job site. We made new friends and learned about God. I loved going to that every morning while we were there. That is, every child wants to do what the adults are doing, I wanted to be on the job site. When I got a little older, Mr. Klotz, the boss of the work site, allowed me to follow him around the site after lunch and pick up nails that had been dropped by the volunteers. He would tell me about what they were doing that day and helped me envision the finished product. The building trip that I remember the most was to Gap Creek Baptist Church in Marietta, South Carolina. I have vivid memories of the children we watched in the mornings the fellowship we had at every meal, finally being old enough to hammer firewalls on the job site, but mostly I remember this new building and what it meant to the congregation. They were so grateful for us being there, and they were so excited every time a new wall went up. Seeing their reactions struck something inside me. I realized that this is what being a Christian was all about. We were using the talents and gifts God had given us to spread his word. As we traveled as a youth group on mission trips, this became more and more apparent to me. As some of you know, I picked up typhoid fever while we were traveling in Budapest, Hungary. Thankfully, the symptoms didn't start to show until I arrived home. But while we were visiting an orphanage there, I wasn't feeling my best. We were playing outside with the children, and I decided to sit down on a bench. I will always remember the joy on the faces of the children and the youth. They were simply playing, and more importantly, laughing with each other. But I could tell that just by these simple actions, we had made their lives a little brighter. Going on this trip was a large endeavor. We would have never been able to bring that joy to those children's faces without the church. Not only were you incredibly generous with your wallets, but you prepared our hearts and minds to allow God to fill us in every moment. John chapter 15 says, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. As a church, you have been my vine grower. You have used your gifts and talents God gave you to help shape me as I grew. By being such a positive influence on my life, you have made my branches not only bear fruit, but you have strengthened them. By doing this, you have prepared me to face the many challenges that I may and probably will encounter as I leave home for Greenville in the fall. When I say I'm leaving home, I'm not just leaving my house, my family, my dog, but 
but I'll be leaving my church family too. But I know that I'll be just fine because you have prepared me to stay on the path and you'll be praying for me every step of the way. <laughs>